goodness gracious. Welcome back, everyone, to Digi Daily. I'm your boy, Zan... Ooh, excuse me. Yeah, Zan... Ooh, boo. Uh, Zanda. And uh, we're just gonna hop right in to the episode. So, let's start with... Mothra Tamagotchi, still sitting here with Mayura, I think it's something like that. Uh, this is an exclusive to this Tamagotchi. It's been confirmed, thanks to Megatronic Tupticon. Had a feeling, because I, I didn't find any anything when I googled this, uh, his name. Um, and apparently it just literally means Cocoonra, because Mayura is like, means Cocoon, or something like that. That's interesting. Uh, gotta keep a real close eye on him, because we need that full justice meter to make sure that we get ourselves a Gogeta. Um, oh, God. Eevee ran away again. I got an idea, okay? We're going to... We're going to reset. <laughs> Excuse me. We're going to reset. We're going to try this one more time. We're going to try the bad care route. One more stinking time it is the ninth as i'm recording this we still have time to do this we still have time to get at least one eevee if he runs away again what i'm gonna do is just go for whatever uh i'm going to let's go for leafy on because i don't think i've gotten leafy on yet so we're gonna go for leafy on if this one runs away again hopefully it doesn't but knowing my luck it probably will so We'll see what happens. I'm kind of bummed out about that, but we're not going to worry about it. Oh, another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to offset the time, because that's something I have not been doing. Um, and I think that's definitely what's screwing me over, is uh, he's waking up before me and sitting around sick all day. And then um, what is happening is I am, uh, you know healing him and he's just like already done he's like you i've been sick for too long i hate you i'm running away uh etc etc so that fixes that so let's get into the stuff i got from from japan uh i gave my brother his little uh, considering it a graduation gift um which was a black link pet i was able to find one thank god um i gave him my Proto Man and Mega Man like dual pack skin. I'll, I'll show off his all his stuff in another video, but uh, I gave that to him in that package. Though I took some things for myself, and that is Slash Man's Navi chip, which is pretty sick. I also have Slash Man's background. I'll show that later though. Aqua Sword, but it's on the it's on this white chip, and I believe the chips that are different colors uh, were from the arcade game or something like that. I have. Heatman EX, which is in this really cool, um, like, yellow uh, chip. Then we have... What is it? Judgeman SP. And then we have... Uh, Junkman, or Garbage Man. Or I think it's Junkman EX. Although his sticker is, like, coming off. It's like crooked. What the hell is that? Um, so yeah, other than that, got some new backgrounds. Got Slash Man, of course, one of my favorites. And then this one, which is pretty sick. Sadly, it looks like they cut it off at the bottom or something. I don't know if that was on purpose. Um, maybe this is fan-made. You know how this feels? Maybe that's what it is. I think this is like fan-made. Some Someone printed this out themselves. Because now I'm feeling it compared to the other one. This is a lot thinner. So I think this is like someone found a, a really good high quality image of this background. Because this is a real background. But I think someone found a high quality image of the background. Because yeah, they, that hole is different too. Huh. Really well done. But it's a, it's a fan made one. I just realized that. And uh, yeah. So I got those two. Also got. This is a Slash Man's Navi symbol in background. It's red. Which is pretty cool. And then, also got this, which is like this cool little uh, poker chip with uh, Joseph Joestar's face on it. If you've seen JoJo, you know. It's from a, the Adventure Battle card. I don't know what the hell this is from. It really feels good. It feels like a real poker chip. Um, I don't know if this is like maybe like some kind of NFC thing or just like a little prize that comes out of like 
an arcade machine or maybe an extra for buying like a card pack. I really don't know, but I thought it was really cool. I got my brother Paul in the ref. Um, and uh, yeah, that's another thing I got from from Japan. And then last but not least, the PS de Resistance. We have finally a Game Boy Micro. This thing is really, really nice. Uh, I like this a lot. Uh, it is a little cramped though. I have super tiny hands. You guys should know that already. Um, and even with my tiny hands, this is actually a little, a little cramped. Um, it feels a little weird playing. I was playing a little bit of Mega Man Zero Three just to get a feel for it because I feel like you know, like that's how I text, I text. That's how I test like dexterity and like the feel of a, uh, you know, anything really. I use Mega Man as a, a basis for like almost testing any. Practically any controller. Um, if Mega Man feels weird to play with on it, then it's probably not the best controller. Um, and on this, uh, Zero does play pretty pretty, pretty good. It, it, I'm surprised like my hands didn't cramp up or anything. It, it felt a little awkward at first, but I did get used to it. Um, my copy of Mega Man Zero 3 is a bootleg copy, and it doesn't work properly anymore. So um, I was only able to play so much. But one thing I did notice, because another great another great thing about you know playing certain Mega Man games, they test all the buttons, sort of. Um, so, you know, for Mega Man Zero, it pretty much uses every single button on the, uh, on the device. So, one thing I did notice is that the A button is a little, I wouldn't say mushy, but, like, unresponsive. I have to really press down hard for the A button to respond. And, uh, taking these things apart is a literal nightmare, and there's not a lot of, like, replacements for the inner shell, which is, like, this inner, so if you look at the Game Boy Micro, You'll see there's like this piece of plastic here, there's some here and there, and I think that's it. If you take the faceplate off, you can see the plastic underneath too. That plastic has gotten extremely brittle over the years. Uh, that's why most Game Boy Micros are broken here, because there's two plastic tabs that are holding the faceplate on, and those are easy to break. So I'm not going to even bother trying to take this faceplate off, because I'm definitely afraid of messing it up. Um, so yeah, um, I'm not gonna do that. Um, I'll, I'll buy like a tool, a proper tool to try to take it off. Or maybe I just won't. Um, I'm gonna try to see if I can just blow some compressed air in here and try to get whatever dirt's in that way out of it. Uh, it's not in the best condition. It is used, scratched here. It was dropped here. Um, you can tell cause like the, uh, it's like dented inward. Uh, and this is aluminum, so like, that's pretty much going to hold that shape forever. I, there's nothing really I can do about that. Uh, it does work. If you couldn't tell. The screen seems a little yellow down here. I'm pretty sure that's not normal. Uh, it does look a little warm. It's at max volume. And it does, seem, it does seem very quiet as well. Like, really, really quiet. I don't know if that's uh, normal. I don't know if uh, it's supposed to be as quiet as it is. But I gotta say... It's very quiet. It's definitely one thing I've noticed. Not as loud. But I mean, then again, look at this tiny speaker. So maybe it wasn't loud to begin with. Um, I guess I'll show off the game. I have a bunch of this, uh, this game because I haven't played much of it. Got this recently. It's a Shaman King game. Made by Konami. It plays like a uh, Metroidvania game. And I'll show off just like some basic stuff. Um, just like let tell you about like, the whole thing with the A button and whatnot. Hmm. Definitely got to clean out the contact on the inside of this too. I think it's a little dirty. There we go. The hell? Oh, someone's been playing. Yeah, there's like two almost completed uh, save files on here. Let me just skip it and start a new game. See, so like. Huh. Okay. Maybe it needs to be broken in a little bit because uh, now it seems to be working. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Isn't it a shame the guy who made Shaman King just, like, is done with it? He's like, yeah, I don't really care anymore. Kind of sucks. 
Yep, okay, so. I mean, this was. Oh, there's he. Yeah, just like I said, maybe it just needed to be broken in a bit, because when I was playing Zero, you know, in Mega Man Zero, you gotta, like, you're dashing, you're jumping, and, like, it, the, the A button is used a lot, because you're jumping. It's a Mega Man game. You, you you jump and you shoot. It's pretty, uh, you know, rudimentary there. Uh, and it was not, uh, it wasn't super responsive. Like, it wasn't, like, uh, jumping exactly when I wanted it to. I had to really press it in. But, uh, maybe I, uh, just had to give it a little bit of work. Uh, but yeah, I finally have a Game Boy Micro, and I'm super happy about it. The, uh, charging cable it came with an official one thank god because just the charging cable alone trying to get like an oem one costs like an arm and a leg and it does work it does charge it does seem like it's a little off like i think this is supposed to be more in the middle so when i put the charger in, it does feel a little like it's kind of hard to get out but like it does still charge and it's not like watch me put it in gotta really plug it in there and really kind of pull it out. Uh, I don't think it's supposed to be like that, but it still works and it still charges, so I'm not super bothered about that. I'm not too worried about it either. Uh, so now I own a Game Boy Micro, which is awesome. I bought a flash cart. It's really for my brother, but I might get one for myself. It's an easy, um, easy flash Omega, and um, I want to get one. Well, when I get it, you know, uh, what I'm thinking of doing is I'm, I'm going to reshell my brother's old AGS 101, which is the backlit Game Boy SP. I'm going to do that for him. But when I do that, um, you know, I want to give him a flash cart so he can play all his games. And um, I think that's going to come in because he hasn't picked he hasn't picked a shell yet, like what he wants his new shell to look like. So what I'm doing is uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'll just, you know, use his... Uh, I'll just use his uh, Easy Flash Omega in the meantime on this to try to just test it out, see how it works, and all that other good stuff. But uh, it's in really good condition, all things considered. You know, other than the uh, cosmetic issues, um, which I'm not too bothered about, just because like if this was mine, uh, it'd probably be messed up too. Probably be this. Uh, probably have a couple scratches in it, cause mine have a lot of scratches in it. You know, I've dropped mine before. Just kind of what happens. Um, so, I'm happy. I like it. I, I've wanted one for a long time, and I did not have to pay that much for it. So, I'm really happy about that. Now, this is apparently the blue one, and it looks blue in some images, but in person, I'm telling you, it looks more like a purple color, in my opinion. Especially this front plate, to me, looks lavender. Uh, I was on the Game Boy Discord, and they're, they're, they're swearing that this is definitely the blue one for sure. Uh, but I don't know. It kind of looks... I mean, the back looks definitely blue. Kind of a little bit of a purple hue, but the front, this definitely looks like a lavender kind of color. More, less than a blue. Uh, the faceplate that it look, that they showed me, it looks a lot more blue. So maybe this is like a, another faceplate they put on here or something. I don't know. Uh, this did not come with like the box or anything. This was just loose, uh, which I really don't care for. Because again, I just wanted a micro and now I got one. So I kind of can't complain. Uh, and I really can't because it works. And that's all I care about. It's got a couple of dings and scratches in it. That's really nothing to me. Uh, as long as it functions and can play a damn game, kind of all I think. Kind of all I care about, really. Um, now, uh, I know we've been playing with the Progress BET, and we're still going to do that. We're going to continue with that today. But I gotta say, you know, I really kind of want to bust out the Link BET. So maybe when this is done, I don't know. Maybe I'll just play the Link BET on my own time because I don't think it'd be very um, I don't think, I don't know how fun it would be to watch, um, cause like this, there's a whole story mode in it and stuff. There's a story mode in the Link PET too, but this is like a lot more involved. It's a lot more flashy. I think it looks a lot more cool. Is it really 420 right now? That's funny. Um, but on the Link PET, it's, it, there's less presentation to the story mode from what I've seen personally. Um, maybe I'm a bit biased, um, but yeah. I do want to start playing with. Maybe I'll just start playing with it on my own time. Um, but yeah, let's continue. Now I, I I gotta admit to you guys, I did not grind like I said I was supposed to. So we're gonna fight a couple of enemies and uh, probably call it a day. 
I just want to see what happens when I put this in. Like, will they recover me? Or will, like, will I get health or will it just be an attack? No, we do not want to full synchro. It says recovery 200. Oh, wow. So what's going to happen? Like, he's going to attack me, but then I use that? Like, what's going to happen? Oh, direct hit. Yeah, cool. Okay, I, I just wondered, because I know, like, I think on the advanced PC, the recovery chips only work when you're, like, hurt and you're at, like, the... The recovery chips only work when you're like hurt. Busting out the real strong boys. Alright, missed me. Well, my uh I think it's getting a little hot in the room because uh the light on my uh light box is what? Oh, it wasn't fully in. There we go. Hmm. I was like, what the hell is going on here? Hmm. Alright, that's it. It's over. Goodbye. Oh, shoot. Okay. He was just out of range. I got you now. This should hit him. Oh, he moved again. Okay, he's becoming quite the pain in the ass. Oh, that sucks, dude. He, like, moved, like, last minute. It would have hit him, too. Damn. I think I'm out of chip. Like, I think I can't... I think I can't use any more chips. Oh, yeah, I can't use any more chips. Oh, this is gonna be painful. I'm gonna apologize now. This is gonna be the most painful fight. Got too cocky. Dang it. Yeah. So that is his emotion window. Now he's like that. We've dropped from full synchro because I'm doing so horribly. Um, he's getting mad at me, you know? Rightfully so. Um... Stop moving. Oh my god. Can I like leave the battle? Is it possible to leave the battle? This is, like, painful. Part of me wants to say, let me cut this out, but I know there's a, fair, a, a lot of you that would enjoy this, so. I'll just let you watch my suffering uncut. Mmm. Should have just cross fused or something that would have killed him like ASAP, and at least my Buster would have been stronger too. You know, you 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 live and you learn. God, stay right where you are, you ugly son of a bitch. As you can see, battles are not timed, you know, they, they don't time out after a while. It's like, you gotta kill them. 
uh, it's until you kill them. Now, you know, this is just your run-of-the-mill virus. Imagine if this was like an actual boss, because there are bosses in here. Uh, or if we were in the tournament mode, uh, where you fight nothing but like other navvies and bosses. Uh, we'd be here forever, because their health is like, you know, in the, in the hundreds to two hundreds. Where his health was just, what, I think it was like a hundred something, maybe, or ninety? Ninety health? And look at us. Oh, god. Oh, my sweet Jesus. Please save me from this. We did it. My god. Mm. Oh, and we leveled up. How wonderful. At least it was worth it. And he's back to being happy, at least. Wow. Okay. Uh, we're going to do one more and call it a day. Because I, one, have to redeem myself, and two, uh, I died. I... <sighs> yeah, still not high enough level. Okay, that's fine. Okay. I got you now. I know your tricks now. Please hit him. Got him. Whew. See? That's all I had to do. He had 100 health. Oh my god. We're jacking out. I don't care. Now, there's more of the map we can see. Um, the map is actually quite big. So, maybe I can go to another area and I don't have to worry too much about this gate. Um, where is it? Is this third one? No, it's not this one. Yeah. Hold on. one of these. I think it's maybe the second one. Yeah, it's the second one. Because this actually shows... There we go. So we are there. Can't get past here because of that gate. But there's something down here. So maybe if you go down... Because we came from here, and then we went up. Then we went left. So if we go down, we can go right up here. Maybe that'd be gated off too. So maybe let's try going down and going over here this way and seeing what's over there on the other side. Uh, we'll, we'll do that tomorrow. We'll explore more instead of just like sitting here and just like fighting enemies and trying to get past that gate. Let's just explore more of it. Because maybe that gate is not allowed to be open yet. Maybe, we haven't, like, maybe it's not like uh, an early gate. Maybe this is a gate we get to pass later in the game. Who knows? Uh, but, uh, yeah, we'll do that tomorrow, I promise. Hopefully it'll be less painful fights like earlier. Uh, and yeah, that's gonna be all for me today. Thank you very much for watching. I do really appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to go, um, and, and, I don't know, play some games on my new Game Boy Micro or something. <laughs> uh, I don't know that. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Take care of yourselves, guys. And, oh god, peace!